Hello everyone. The Frugal Babies and I are having a little adventure. We're having a little educational outing. We are going to walk all the way to Dollar Tree, which for us is actually a pretty long walk. In suburban New Jersey, it's just unheard of to not have a car to drive somewhere. Everybody drives everywhere. But today we're walking because one of the cars is being used by another family member and the other car is being worked on by Frugal Daddy. So we're going to walk. One, because it's a beautiful day and we need the exercise. And two, I want the girls to experience what many people experience, which is we don't have a car, we have to walk or ride a bicycle or take public transportation. Not everybody's spoiled enough to have unlimited automobilic transportation at their disposal. Yes, I just made that word up. I, I don't know what I'm saying. We're going to have a better appreciation for what we have by taking this tremendously long walk and we're going to get our exercise in on a beautiful day. We are also going to Dollar Tree to, well, one, we, we, we our, our, our primary goal in going to Dollar Tree is getting a can of pumpkin because I want to make pumpkin pudding. But the girls just had their birthday, so uh, not that they got birthday money. That's kind of irrelevant. But they're each going to bring a dollar because they want to be able to buy something for themselves. And I was trying to explain to them that just because something only costs a dollar doesn't necessarily mean it's a good deal. Some things at Dollar Tree are a good deal, but if something is really only worth five cents, it's not a great deal to buy it for a dollar. And some of the toys at Dollar Tree are really not the greatest quality and not really worth a dollar. So we're going to have a little education about what we think is worth spending a dollar on and what is not worth spending a dollar on. And they also have a second dollar each to buy a birthday present for Frugal Daddy because his birthday is coming up really, really soon. And I have some money in my pocket to cover the tax and any other exciting finds that we find at Dollar Tree. So we are off to have this little frugal baby educational outing to Dollar Tree for exercise, to appreciate the fact that we have automobiles at our disposal most days, and to learn what's worth a dollar and what's not, and to get Frugal Daddy a birthday present and buy the pumpkin. Yes, in a nutshell, I've just said it all right there. So here we go. We will also get some practice at look both ways before you cross the street. Oh, and don't hit your sister in the face. There's another thing we're going to practice. And keep your hands to yourself. Okay, excellent. And don't hit your sister with your purse. Oh, so many lessons we're going to learn today. Oh, nice. We're at a less than pretty part of our journey as we have to walk beside the highway. We're almost at the Dollar Tree. There hasn't been too much complaining, a little bit of, I'm hot, are we close yet, are we there yet? Which of course continues to be a learning moment for us as I respond with, yes, we're almost there, but can you imagine if you had to do this every day? Every day that you had to go to the grocery store, you had to walk to get there. Think about how strong your legs would be. Think about how wonderful it would be to be strong and healthy and walk this far every day. They weren't really buying into that part of it, though, I have to say. What, honey? What if this bridge fell? Uh, well, then, we would have to quickly run to the other side before we went crashing and splashing into this little inlet of the river. Autumn, are you loving it? You loving this walk? Oh, yes, she is. They're loving it. No, I'm not. We're taking a little detour. We're almost at the Dollar Tree, but we're going to take a little detour into the farm store because the chicks are here, and we want to see the baby chicks. Plus, it's shady inside. All right. I think the chicks are in that big watering trough-looking thing. I can hear them. Oh, they're getting so big. They're so cute, but they're not little and fluffy anymore, are they? They're getting big. Oh, they're jumping on each other. Does that make you want to be a chicken farmer? Yes. Mom says no, and he says yes.
We asked about holding them, but they are too big to hold right now. But that was a fun little diversion, wasn't it? You just never know what exciting thing's going to happen on your way to Dollar Tree. Look, girls, we made it! Finally. You made it! After it seems like 20, 100 hours. Yeah, they're so tired and hot. So, of course, that led to a little discussion about people walking all the way across South America to try to come to the United States to have a better life for their children. And how they didn't just walk an hour to the Dollar Tree, they walked all day, every day, for months. Yeah, we had that conversation. They were impressed. That took up some of the time. That distracted them. Dollar Tree, here we are, the promised land. We found you. All right, nice and cool inside. Let's see what's worth a dollar and what's not. They have lots of fall decorations and Halloween things. Oh my goodness, that's quite the mask. I don't know what that is. What is that, Autumn? Is that a ninja kind of a thing? Yeah, turtle ninja. Turtle ninja. Oh, you've got some scary wings. Interesting. Luckily, you guys already have your Halloween costumes picked out at home. Uh, because it's wings that come with it. I like your hat. Dazzled by the Halloween stuff. And remember, we're getting a birthday present for Daddy, so don't forget about that. Driving there takes a minute. Right. 
We actually live really close to that Dollar Tree, and it's at most a five-minute drive with traffic, with lights, but walking, well, not that we walked fast. We did not walk very quickly, but it took us well over an hour. It seemed like it took 24 hours to get to Dollar Tree. It was. It really didn't take 24 hours. It was just such a miserable experience. It felt like it. Mom was talking to us, and then I saw the sign, and I was like, Dollar Tree. We're finally here after it seems like 1,000 hours. When you were looking around Dollar Tree, what did you think about the merchandise? Do you think everything there is worth a dollar? Do you think it's a good deal? Is everything a good deal? No. I think, yes. I think <laughs> there was like a little goldfish, like snack thing, one dollar for like 20 goldfish. Yeah, one of those little, it was a little, yeah, it was little, a little carton. Yeah, Little miniature, miniature goldfish. It was a miniature goldfish pack. One dollar for like 20 goldfish. That did not seem like a good deal to you? No. I didn't really think that the ghosts were really actually that good. Because you can just make ghosts at home. It's a real big waste of money to get a ghost that you can make at home. You mean the Halloween decorations? Yeah. Yeah. It's really Yeah. With an old sheet, we could make some ghosts. Old sheet and a tennis ball. You just drape the fabric over the ball, draw a little ghosty face, hang it in a tree. Would you rather spend money on a ghost tree or make homemade one? You'd rather make it homemade. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah, because you're saving money then. This is all about being frugal. Frugal means save your money on stuff you don't need. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, save money on stuff you need and don't even buy the stuff you don't need. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I should spend my money on these because we don't have any. Like, that's why I spent my money on this. Yeah, we don't have any. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, don't I know it's true. We yeah. don't have any wings, but now we do. Do you guys want to walk to Dollar Tree every time we go? No. No. <laughs> I will never do that again. We also talked about how Little House on the Prairie people would walk that far or more, way more, to go to school every day and walk home, then do their chores, and then do their homework. Were you impressed by that? But they didn't have to walk by a highway. I better, I better hide away Daddy's presents, and we'll put the pickles and the pineapple away in the pantry. I want a pickle! I want a pickle! Hey! <laughs>